babies. So, uh, look. Coming back to say what's up, what's up, and to remind people that within the matter of days, I believe it's going to be the 1st of January, but in a matter of days, um, my page will look totally different. So this will be totally different looking page because I will be t turning my personal page into a um, professional page or a business page because people have been trying to get access to me here lately. Uh, a lot of people, I'm thinking because I, be, I spend so much time in a clubhouse, but they only allow me to have 5,000 on my personal page. And since I'm most active on here, I want to merge my um, my followers on here with a personal page so that I'm not limited. So when you guys see the, the new look, it's still me. You'll know it's me because I'll be talking. But I just want to let remind you guys that because, again, it's it's been an influx. And I want to make sure that I'm able to speak to everybody on a regular basis. So I just want to let you guys know that it will be me. It just will look bizarre. Okay? So I think it allows me to uh, bring my followers from uh, here to there. So you won't miss anything. But, again, the look will feel different. So I just want to let you guys know. And I hope you guys had a good uh, holiday. If you didn't know that my heart was with you, as I told you guys yesterday. So I'm just repeating that. Hi, Patrice. What's up, baby? Hey, Rashida. Morning. You know, I love seeing y'all faces in the morning or y'all uh, emoji faces. Good morning, Rhonda. I have been up since about 5 o'clock. You know what I'm about to tell you. And if you don't know, I'll say it anyway. I got up this morning, did my meditation, did my um, journaling, planned out my day. And then normally what I do is I go into a room called, how can I help you? How can you help us on Clubhouse? And always get, it feels like it's a, a feels like it's not church, but it feels like a classroom of elite people who come in and they help each other. And that just, it just really sets me up even more for the day. And then I did, um, I think I did a, few, a video because I'm going to be back on YouTube now so that you guys can please follow my channel at Arthur T. Styles. I'm going to be talking about my book processes, also the web series that will be coming out that I will be developing. So you'll be a part of the making of a web series, the making of an urban fiction book. I'm going to take you guys through exactly what it is that I do. So uh, you'll be seeing a lot of weird stuff. So I want you guys to journey with me on that. So if you're not following me on YouTube, it's time to follow me. It's time to come back. I've been getting people that be watching my I'm, subscribers grow on there. I don't even know why or how, to be honest, but I'm so grateful for it. But I get folks to watch on it all day long, and I haven't really been active on it in years. So to those people, I just want to say thank you because you helped me stay, you helped me to stay monetized on it. And you reminded me that I have to come back. So what I'll be doing on YouTube, I will be showing you my behind the scenes, my day in the life videos, so my vlogs. I will be showing you uh, how I come up with these book concepts and, and I'm talking about the mental work I do to make to get these books out and then I'm going to be showing you the making of a web series because I'm going to be launching a new web series next year but the process starts early so you got to follow me there um hey Siobhan Rashi the one the one day that we had morning meditation was great even though I was at work oh my god Rashi I hope you are in the uh, prepare for the crown because we're going to be doing that on the, on Monday so the young ladies that are there, we're going to be doing uh, meditation on Mondays. I mean, Monday for five days, we're going to be doing it. So we're going to be doing meditation on five days. And then we're going to do some other things. And then we're going to do something that's di directly related to your business. Just so that you can start thinking about what it is you want. Even if you're not ready to pop off now. So uh, if you aren't a part, of, a part of that group, please become a part of that group because um, I'm excited about it. I'm going to be passionate about helping whoever is in there. I got a lot of people who signed up for that competition, but these people have not come out of the emails and joined the group. If you are one of those people who are trying to participate in this Prepare for the Crown Challenge and you're not a part of the Facebook group, you're not doing it right. The main part of me pushing this to you guys is because you have to link up with people and that's what the group is about so 
anybody can send you assignments, which you'll get from me to focus you on your mind, body, and bank. But you have to, you have to communicate with each other. I'm going to be talking about this over and over and over again. I spent six hours yesterday. And that's probably why I'm tired. It was Christmas. But I spent six hours in speaking to people with a mental health uh, room at the, in a clubhouse. And it was so many people who were coming in for help, who were coming in for a direction. And one of the things, it was a lot of things being said, but one of the things that resonated with me is that we need to help one another. We need to talk to one another. Start talking to people, black people. We can't be talking about fuck so-and-so or I don't care about so-and-so no more. We can't do that no more. It's not beneficial for our mental health. It's not beneficial for our lives or our businesses. So if you are going to be a part of the Prepare for the Crown Challenge, I need you to join that Facebook group, which is the Prepare for the Crown Challenge Facebook group so that you can communicate with these with each other. That's the money. If you want to know where the money is at, you, I talk about it all the time. You always ask for certain things. You ask for prayer. No, no, I'm sorry. You pray for something. And then you wonder why you don't get it. You don't get it because you're not opening up yourself to other people. The, the, the answer comes through other people. The gift comes through other people. So this is why I'm pressing this. I, I am no longer, I was that girl who was like, you know, I ain't got time for so-and-so and so-and-so can kiss my ass and all that kind of stuff. That is not me. The, when I started opening up my heart and my life to helping people and connecting with other people, everything turned around in my life. So that's what I want to keep pushing down to you guys. Let's get out of that. Some of the reasons why some of y'all can't get into the clubhouse is because folks know y'all ain't there yet because folks is helping people in the clubhouse. So when you get your invite, when you put in your invite, folks ain't letting you in because they feel like you nasty and you're not going to help nobody. You're not going to benefit nobody. So let's stop doing that. You know, I'm going to be talking about this a lot because we got to stop that. We're stepping on our own toes. We're getting in our own ways. We're preventing ourselves from having greatness by not helping one another. Let's stop it. Stop it. If y'all have seen something, if I get your hands out, uh, stop it. It's no more of that foolishness. We done with that. We ain't taking that to 2021. And that'd be one way for me not to fuck with you. You know, not wanting to help one another because you know that's if you want to know how to get at me that's it you know no more of that you need two weeks baby patrice i know i'm i ain't gonna make no promises on on the on the worst of us i, I can't make no promises but i will promise you that i am going to bring you some characters in in in, in situations with my upcoming web series that will just wreck your mind so we're gonna have some fun um, so don't worry about that. Hi, Lily. Hi, Diane. Are you excited about Monday, Diane? Diane, please make sure um, that if you speak to some of the, the, the elite, because uh, what I'm looking for when we're going to be talking about in the clubhouse on Monday, we're going to be talking about the inspiration to some of your most favorite books, the most popular books. So we want to find out what inspired the writers to write these stories. I'm a teacher. Uh, of, I teach people how to write their books. And one of the things I want people to focus on and understand is what made you write that book? Because when you have the reason and the reason is firm and you know your reason, then you can start using that reason for other avenues when you're trying to write another book or another screenplay. You know, what is the purpose? So I'm interested in seeing what their reasons are. My books are popular. I'm going to be talking about that. I have some other people on the panel who have books. Uh, Jill Hunt, Daniel Santiago, I invited some other people. So we're going to be talking about the inspiration to the books that were the most popular because you find, you find out that once you find out what the inspiration is, it's always tied into something that can, that we can learn from. You know what I mean? It's all, it's, it's, it's tied into uh, a, a life shift, uh, a life change. And it's so interesting. So we think that we're just writing books just to be writing books. But there's something behind it that goes much deeper that can translate into the next book or can reach somebody in a different way. So I'm very excited about Monday in the clubhouse, the inspiration behind these best-selling novels. Luckily, I'm there and I definitely done sold me some books and sold me some books. So I'm going to be tell talking to, to you guys about like raunchy shit list. Uh, oh my God, I've, I've been blessed with so many of them. Raunchy shit list. I think I picked three. 
Oh, Black and Ugly. So I'm going to be talking about those books and what inspired me to write those books. It's going to be so much fun, Diane. So if you can get, if you know writers, tell them just give us one or two sentences. I believe we're going to be so booked up that we might not be able to get to everybody because last the last classes that I've been hosting in the clubhouse, it's been, yeah, last night's moderated class, we had like 120 people in there for, for mental health. The one that we did with, uh, at, with uh, Allison and who else was in? Sharice. I think we had like 60 people and they were just coming in and out, coming in and out. So we want to, we might not be able to ask everybody, but we want to make sure that we touch those best selling books because I'm so fascinated with people think, oh, I just wrote it because I wanted to write a good book. No, there's something deeper than that. There's something under the, the layers that resonates with people, you know, when you identify it. Um, it's so it's hard to explain, but it's not because with writers we think we are when we're writing a book we're guided originally from motivation. You know, you just want to write the book, but what motivates that? Like what 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 sponsored the motivation? So I'm hoping that when I ask some questions, I can crawl through there, especially if they come on, to really find out because the best selling books when they write. Is, is there's a message in it that, that resonated with all of us in some aspect, whether it be uh, shitless. You know, she was tired of um, being walked over or feeling like her friends were uh, keeping a secret from her. That's what it looked like. But a lot of, t a lot of people may take it as, well, that happens to me in my life. You know, I'm a part of a, a bunch of friends, a, a group of friends, and I feel like I'm I'm isolated and I feel like they don't hear me. So then we find out that the, maybe the reason why I wrote it was because I felt like didn't, didn't, didn't anybody hear me and I was around friends who didn't respond to me. So I want to talk about that kind of stuff. I want to talk about that stuff so we can, we can start being deliberate when we're creating books and not being page profit kings where we're just writing and shit to get a, a paycheck. I'm sick of these people. No, we want to go to Hollywood. My my name is in on desk. In Hollywood right now, Oscars, Oscars.org, you know, and, and in the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences. Not because I'm writing fiction books, but because I constantly am teaching myself. I'm teaching myself and I want to know, understand the art of storytelling. Once you learn the art of storytelling, then you can start saying, okay, these are the rules. Let me tweak them around. But you got to know the rules first. So we ain't just doing stuff. Let's stop doing stuff just for the Amazon. You know, let's go higher than that. It's a lot of money to be made. They want our stories. They want to hear from us in the movies. But we got to understand the reason why we're doing things. So that's why I'm so super excited about Monday because I want to really delve into that and, and have us to start thinking about that. Thinking about it. Thinking about how you can position other stories. You know, think about how you can start positioning other stories and based on things that impact us intrinsically that only we know about, you know, and that comes through, through talking and speaking to each other. That's why I keep telling y'all, start talking to each other, pick up the damn phone, you know, toxic people. No, we don't want a lot of that, you know, but sometimes you just got to listen to them and, and, and say, I'm sorry you feel this way. So you can be empathetic, but you don't want to be sympathetic where it's impacting you viscerally. But sometimes you just listen to them and say, I understand how you, I understand that you feel that way. By the way, tell me what's, what else is going on. You know, how's, you know, you know, are you, are you good? You know, start changing these conversations around. But more than all, let's make sure that we start talking to each other. Let's make sure that we start communicating with each other. I'm done with that. Okay. I'm done with it. And I want you guys to be done with it. So, um, you know, I preach in the morning. I told y'all I preach this in the morning. I preach this in the morning. You know, in the mornings I preach in the nighttime. I'm ratchet, but in the mornings, I preach. Y'all knows it. I done told y'all that. Hi, Key. What's up, Allison? What's up? What's up, Danielle? What's up? Allison. Are you excited about Allison Grace? We got, we got two Allisons in here. Allison, you excited? I hope you're excited about Monday. Like I told Diane, please make sure, Allison, that you lay hands on writers. You know our, our where we come from. You know what the elite is. Lay hands on writers and ask them, number one, if they can join us. If they cannot join us, just ask them to uh, give you one or two sentences of what inspired their the popular books. Because we're going to be delving into that. I'm excited too, Diane. I am. Hey, Lily. 
Oh, honey, my holiday was amazing, guys. So I told you I'm about to be YouTubing again. If you're not following me on YouTube, you're going to be missing out because I'm going to be back. But um, one of the things I'm going to be using on my YouTube is I always wanted an easy bake oven. Do you know the spouse went out and got me its equivalent with the easy bake packet? So I'm going to literally be doing stuff like that on YouTube, like cooking from this oven. I mean, she got me all these other gifts and I love them, you know, like. My Doc Martens. Uh, I mean, a whole bunch of stuff that she got. But that Easy Bake Oven, chow, that was the cutest. So I'm going to be playing with that thing. I'm going back to being a kid. Y'all told y'all I like to be a kid. You excited about all of it, Danielle? Me too. Me too. Danielle, if you have um, Apple, definitely go down and download the Apple app. Download the Apple app. And then you can... I believe depending upon if somebody's on your list, they can wave you in. So the first part is downloading the Apple app. app. Uh, Lily, that's the same thing for you. Download the Apple app and it's going to be on Clubhouse. And the reason it's going to be on Clubhouse, people say, why is everybody doing stuff on the Clubhouse? The People are doing stuff on the Clubhouse to poison the our community with a sense of power. Because the people who are on this app right now, because it's in its beta stages, and beta basically means that it's uh, they're still working it out, and we're all guinea pigs, but the guinea pig, the way they did it was genius because they brought in the most powerful people within our communities, and so the stage was set for encouraging and uplifting and things like that. So they brought in the most powerful people in our community, and then they start building on that. So when most of the people were coming in, they were still building on that. So the reason why I do so much through the clubhouse is because the people who are there are powerful people and they're able to come out of the clubhouse and make an impact in other ways. Like one of the reasons why I did the prepare for the crown challenge and was so excited about it is because of that group, you know, and helping people and helping women and, and even men, if you want to, you can get past the pink and black, you know, that's why. So I know people be saying, you know, I don't want, I, why is everything in the clubhouse? We want to poison our race, uh, and, not, and we're not being racist. We want to poison our people because our people believe that we can't do more. And it's not that we don't want to do more. It's that we don't have any examples around us of doing more. And then when you know people who who uh, can, who have the ability to help you do more, they're busy right now. <laughs> but in the clubhouse, because it's so contagious, they have normalized helping people, guys. I mean, it's the people who's there, you got to be there. Like the people who are there can contest. They know I'm, what I'm saying is true. They have normalized helping people. You, and you just got to literally come in there with a pen and paper. So that's why it's in the clubhouse. It's in the clubhouse to poison the race more with 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 generosity and, and greatness and, and things like that. So, you know, I'm preaching, but I told y'all I preach this in the mornings. I told y'all I preach this in the mornings. So, you know. It is what it is. Um, I will include that information in the invites. And people, when y'all coming in, if y'all get an invite, don't embarrass us. Okay? Because this is another thing. Y'all coming in and acting the fuck terrible. Y'all gonna get kicked out, first of all, because it's a zero foolishness policy. Meaning that you're not gonna be in there trolling people. All that little hater rate, ration shit that be going on and everything on these other apps is not happening. You're gonna be kicked out and you're not gonna be able to get back in. Furthermore, you may jeopardize the person who, who invited you in. This is why folks is like, mm, I don't know about giving the way you was acting on, on your social media yesterday. I don't know. Because they're scared of, you, of losing the, the this, it's like the plug, literally. It's the plug. So they're afraid of losing the plug. So if y'all get y'all invites, come in, be a, repres be a representative for greatness and it doesn't mean that you got to have a business or anything you may have information that you don't even know you have access to you may say look i just do a little cooking on the side and you join a, a cooking room next thing you know you want to make you a, get you a business started you may say i just do a little working out i don't do nothing and the next thing you know you go in the room with these bosses who got who are building gyms around the united states and you're like well damn maybe i can do a little one in my little neighborhood people in there getting funded for businesses and stuff like that so don't come in there acting the fucking fool Make sure y'all come in, there, you know, being a representative and adding to greatness. I definitely want to say that. Uh, yes, for and it's for iPhones only right now. 
We're teaching and reaching while entertaining. My God, that's a word, Allison. Yes. Boom, boom. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Key Faith, ha happy holidays, baby. You say, I'm blessed to be celebrating my 47th birthday today. Oh, my God. I'm going to be 47 in January. Happy birthday, baby. We all 47 out here. Love it. Happy birthday, Key. Happy birthday. That's right. That's right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Talk to each other. Hey, Stacy. Good morning, honey. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for saying hello to your Twisted Sibs. It's so important, guys. You know when you see my face and my wig that I represent love, I represent community, and I represent connecting with each other. So wherever you see me, whether it be here or the clubhouse, that's what I represent. And that's going to always be protected when I'm in a room because I'm strategic about that because I want us to get out of that. We, it just breaks my heart how we thought it was so cute not to speak to each other for so long or how it was so cute, you know, not to answer the phone or, or tell somebody you're going to come and you're not going to come. You know, the stuff that we thought was cute was, was holding us back. So I love when you guys come in and speak to each other. It just really makes me, makes me smile. So thank you. Hey, Latasha, what's up? What's up, baby? How are you? Stacey said, when you do another movie, I definitely would love to be in it. Well, you got to be out here in Maryland. You got to be out in Maryland. So, you know, you come on through and you do your audition. You got a little something in you. You know, I've definitely worked with folks. Hey, Kim, how you doing, Kim Wingo? I'm so glad you had a happy birthday, baby. Love you to pieces. Diane said, now is the time for our stories on big screen and streaming services. Yes, and the money move makers are there. Diane, that's a word. It's a mood. It's a mood. Hey, Sandra. She said, get your preach on. You do it in love. We need it sometimes. Yes, Lily, it's the truth. And when I speak, when I speak, I tell y'all in the mornings. I know y'all about to say. I'm just going to tell you every time I say I'm going to say it when I want to say it, God damn it. But in the mornings, I get up, I meditate, I I, I read my positive literature, and, and, I, and I fellowship to God. Like, I'm serious about connecting with God. I'm serious about one of the things I say, God, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say and to whom? So when I, because I believe that so much, even in my books, they could be the most ratchet of books. Something in it, I'm trying to reach you. You know, something in it, I'm trying to get to you. So some of y'all think because you, you come from hood environments or you had uh, in situations where, you know, you feel like are not good for you based on the things you've gone. God's people, his soldiers are everywhere. Because there's, there's some people that's in the churches that don't even deal with other people unless they're in the church, which is bizarre. So God put the soldiers on the blocks with there's some, some drug dealers who, you know, doing mad stuff to protect the youngins that's coming up. You know, we everywhere. So um, that's what I love about it. Like with me, I am an urban fiction writer, but I'm very wake, awoke now and, and I'm making sure that I am letting as many people as I know that I can reach and touch know that you can have be do anything you just got to start monitoring some of the stuff that you're doing that's it I'm about to search for your your name on clubhouse and tuning in thank you Allison on YouTube I'm Martha T Styles it's on YouTube I'm Martha T Styles hey Leisha happy holidays baby happy holidays I did already have the app, just no invite yet. Okay, Lily, I'm going to see if I can see you. I'm going to see if I can find you on there and then and, and, and wave you in. Remember, if I do, I'm telling you, it, it's going to be a problem if you're in there acting crazy. I know you won't. I wish they just drop the box off and stop uh, hanging around the door. Um... I have a clubhouse, but I have to wait for anyone to invite. Yeah, just people are the people are waving people in. People are waving people in. I'm here for I'm here for it all too, Rashida. I was in a room with Ava DeVernier and she was schooling us. Diane, I remember that room. She was it started talking about Mar Mar Rainey Mar Rainey's Blackfoot or something. I can't that movie. 
but then it went into so many more. I was in another room, couldn't come out of it, but yes, for sure. Christian Keys is literally screaming at people to write those stories. Yes, write. I just joined today, Mama Bear, but put me on the list so to put me on the list so I can get in. Okay, Stacey, I'm gonna look for you, baby. I I, I got to see how many. You only get a certain amount of invites, so let me see. Uh, I'm gonna go in as soon as I get off, and I'll let you know if I can find if I can find you. I know you do me good. Uh, yes. Hey, my sister. Tina, did you tell Sharice it was good? It was so good. Oh my God, she put her foots into them. Her foots. Her foots. Hi, Gabrielle. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Allison. <laughs> Agent like fine wine. Yes. That's when you come from being drama free and you and you feel with love. And you know it's contagious. You get all in your skin and your wig. So, for sure. Allison said, Allison said, God is answering prayers, thankful each day for what he's doing in my life. Now you're about to make me cry. Allison, I know the feeling, baby. I feel like that too. Yesterday, um, like I was saying, I spent a lot of time in a, 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 a post in a room in the clubhouse where people were just depressed um, about the holidays. And I just came in there. When I went in there, it was only like four people. And when I come in there, I'm always very honest. You know, I'm not one of the people who feel like I don't want people to know what the, the things I've gone through in life because I'm embarrassed. I don't got time for that. So I came in there honest as a, as a room about mental health. I said, look, I had a suicide attempt and I'm honest about that because I don't know who's on there, who's in there, who needs to hear it, who's going through it and feel like, wow, if I tonight is going to be my night, you know, tonight I'm going to take my life, you know. I'm just going to get on this room, but tonight I'm going to take my life. Real quick, y'all, because I think, I don't know what's going on. Hold on. So, I don't know who's on, who's in the room. Like, tonight I'm going to take my life. So, I got a testimony, and I'm not going to tell nobody because I think I'm cute. You know, I got a testimony and I'm not going to tell nobody because I'm afraid of what other people think. I'm not, that's not me. That's not how I operate. And I tell as many people as, as, as need, as, as who have ears, this is what happens. And I know that it's hard. I know that it's heavy, but it gets better. So I came in there saying that. And then from that, it just opened up the room even more to more people who were willing to be honest. And the amount of people that we touched, you know, I mean, I, I kept saying, look, I'm just a publisher who helps heal through story. But we had psychiatrists and psychologists in there. And every time I would say that, they'd be like, no, Toy, you in here like giving it, you know. And the reason why I think I had a different approach, although they, they are psychologists and psychiatrists, and I have a different approach through healing through story is because with me, when I write, I research. So what makes a person does do this thing? Why does a person feel and they'll need to kill. So from that, I started to understand the human, uh, the human mind a little bit, you know, and, 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 and we just were able to touch so many people. It was this girl who didn't even want to go home for Christmas because she was afraid she was gonna get her mother COVID. But based on just being with us and being there, she decided to go home. I mean, it was amazing. So, oh my God, I get you. Hi, Jamata. I didn't realize you were in Maryland. What part of Maryland? Oh, I'm over in Owensville's by uh by the Raven Stadium. Hey, I made my acting debut in Perfected Love. I got great reviews. Okay, so I, Stacy, I didn't know you was a a thespian. You know, you out here acting. Love it, Irene. Come on in the room, baby. Hi, Sandra. Love it, love it, love it. I put Stacy in already. Oh, you grab Stacy. Perfect. Tina said, I fell asleep afterwards, especially them greens. Now, Tina, she do them greens every three days. So if ever you wanted some greens, just let her know because she, I, you know, I got to get my, keep my fiber in. So she do them, she doing them greens every day and they be tasting that good every day. I mean, every three days. Like, so we eat them every day and then she just do them. So no mama T. I was saying mama bear, Diane P already put me on. Oh, she put you on the list. Excellent. Love it. Tawanda Ramsey, I joined already. Now I need to start using it. Hold on. Sharice? Oh, okay. Was you was, was you was trying to get in? Trying to get in. 
Oh, okay. I thought I heard. I thought somebody was dropping off a package. Oh, okay. Hi, Nakisha. God is removing my ex. He's packing his shit right now. Hallelujah. Let him out. Tell him, tell him. Is you show him where the door was at? You want to make it show him? Or you will be good? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Hi, Shireen. Hello, Shireen. Allison, Allison McNeese said, the finale to my very first book. Allison and MDs and the finale to my very first book. Finally, I can finish it. Oh, my God. You guys are already, this is what we should be doing every day. This is why we got to be around people who are like, who feel like this. And there's a lot of us, you know, there's a lot of us. And again, if you see me and my face, my wig, you know, that it's going to be a place of love. Always It's going to be a place for you guys to be seen. And, and I mean that, you know, we, we need to be seen. So when I pop up on here, even if you just got to come in and say hi, to me and then to your siblings, your twisted siblings, please do that. You know, this is always going to be a, a safe space for us to communicate because that's what I represent. Uh, and it's going to always be that way. So hi, Shala. Morning, morning, morning. All right, baby. So I got so much stuff to do today. So I'm about to go, but I had to come on here in the morning and, and talk to you guys. Hope you had a happy holiday, and if the and if and if it was too hard, I hope today is better for you guys. I love you a bunch, Lamarts. What's up, Lamarts? So glad I caught you caught me before I left. Um, I love you guys a bunch. Um, really love you to pieces. Come in here when you see me, when you see your siblings. Come talk to people. Start talking to people in 2021. Talking to people. Seeing people, I see you. You got the mask face on, but it's nothing wrong with waving. You know, let's start doing that. Um, let's normalize that again because it's, it's so much benefits from it. Rashida said, you inspired me so much for just starting journaling this morning. Thank you. Oh, Rashida. Love it. That's what it's about, baby. That's what it's, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. Love you back, Rhonda. I love you back. So I'll definitely be here in the morning to come talk to you guys again. I may come back at night. I find that nights been um, have been really busy with uh, a lot of stuff. And with, with me being in that room yesterday, which was definitely nothing but Holy Spirit coming in, because I swear on, on all all the moons, it was only five people in that room. When we got in there and we started talking, it ended up being over 100. So I, but I, so that meant I didn't get a chance to really spend spend any a time with the spouse for Christmas. We didn't, you know, was no time. So t today we're going to end up, you know, just trying to enjoy movies. We didn't watch any of our Christmas movies and I'm not complaining. You know, I was blessed. I had, a, I was doing Christmas before Christmas day. I was doing Christmas by, in, by December. I was been in the mood the whole month. So if people were having problems or just feeling like they weren't seeing, I had no problem, you know, spending my Christmas with them. So but I didn't get a chance to really do it with my spouse. So I'm going to spend some time uh, and, and watch some movies and enjoy, you know, uh, enjoy the day a little bit, but I, not without talking to my babies, not without talking to my kids, not without not first talking to my kids. I had to come in and talk to my babies. So now that I talk to my babies, I can go on about my day. You have an amazing day. Uh, Lily said, have an amazing day, Arthur 2000. Thank you for spreading the love. We need more of that. Oh, I'm here here for sure. Love you to death. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.